Hi, hi everybody. I wanted to go over how to sew the finger symbols elastic onto your new finger symbols. It's important to do it right. When you get finger symbols, I asked you, I recommended that you get the Turquoise International Size A with design. There's a reason for that. I have bought a whole lot of symbols over my lifetime. And some of the ones that I've bought, as you can see, against my black shirt, this one has one hole in it. Not a good idea. This is often a Turkish set or a rather cheaper set to get. Don't do it. When you went to get to buy symbols, you want something that has two holes in it two holes for the elastic that's going to fit the fingers better. So this is the kind that you got. This is just an older one. It's not as shiny as yours. You've got a big long piece of elastic. They give you the proper elastic. So you want to hang on to whatever is extra because if the day comes that you ever want to change out the elastic, because as time goes by, the elastic gets looser and stretched out then you have exactly the right size width to purchase. So this is important. I always, as you see, mine is shorter. It's because I've already used the longer part to sew elastic onto the symbols and I save them. So I'm gonna do an, an example for you. So we're gonna use the turquoise symbol and I want you to realize that there's an inside of the symbol and an outside. See, the inside is this cupped side. Think of it as the inside. And you're going to take your elastic, you can leave it in the long version, uh, so you're not just guessing and then having wasted elastic. So make sure you cut the end of the elastic so it's flat and not frayed. And you wanna take it to the inside, one of the slits on the inside, and you're going to push it up from the inside to the outside. So I have it like this. And then I go to the other end and do the same thing. I cut off the frayed part. I go to the other side and try not to twist the elastic. I push it up from underneath. It's a little tough because the elastic is thicker than or wider than the slit is, which is what you want. You don't want narrower. And then you see it's like this. And I'm just going to pull the elastic all the way through. You want absolutely nothing on the inside of the elastic. So now I have two pieces of elastic. And in your case, you're going to have one really long piece and probably one shorter one. So I'm going to take, go to what I would say is the shorter one and go to about, well, about an inch and a half maybe and whatever length is here that's fine and now think about where you're going to put the elastic on your fingers as your finger symbols are worn you want to have one of them fit under your fingernail of your middle finger and above the first knuckle so it, <laughs> i'm going to give you this little section from the knuckle to the to the very beginning of the nail. That's where the elastic is supposed to sit. So if it's on me correctly, it's here. It's not too far down because too far down, I have no dexterity in my hands. So you go almost to the tip, but make sure it's under the nail. You want it under the nail, okay? And the other one will go in your other middle finger and your two thumbs. So I have a second one for my thumb. I'm gonna do the same thing. I wanna go under the nail, but above the knuckle so I can bend my finger without any problem. So then they're facing, both insides are facing each other like this. And you wanna look, the sewing, I hope you can see it. I tried to sew it in blue. The sewing is on the top or outside of the symbol never on the inside. And notice I'm pointing out to you that I sewed it. It doesn't have to be a fancy job of sewing. Do not use a safety pin. Do not tie it. 
they're just they're going to untie loosen and fly away because you're going to be moving your hands and moving your arms around while you dance and dance at the same time and you do not want this thing to fly off of your fingers or around the finger it has to be pretty sturdy so that when you wiggle it doesn't go anywhere it doesn't fly away it stays on your hand so let's go and sew one for you you saw that I threaded the elastic from the bottom up, and now I want to fit it to my thumb. So I'm going to lay my thumb in there, and I'm going to take the short end and fold it over. Now this is about right. It wraps all the way around the finger. Not more, but all the way over. That's perfect. Now I'm gonna do the same with the other side, the longer side, I'm gonna wrap all the way over. And that's where I'm gonna cut it off because obviously I have too much. So I'm gonna take my scissors and cut it off, try to cut it straight. And now I have two pieces. I make it nice and even. And I have to put my thumb there again and lay, well actually I'm gonna do it on my left hand because I'm right-handed. You're gonna have to do it two thumbs, two middle fingers, and I crisscross them, flap them over each other, right? So like, I hope you can see this. They're one all the way over the other one. So they're double layered on the top here. Now I'm holding it because it won't stay, but that's what I wanna do. I'm gonna hold it like that. And I have some thread and I wanna point this out to you. I took some sturdy thread, I threaded a sturdy needle, and it's got, as you, I took blue on purpose, you see there's the thread through the needle, I'm going to double the thread, I want a really strong thread, so I get them even, and I make a couple of knots on the end, which is exactly what I want. I'm gonna see how handy dandy Jasmine is at sewing. You don't have to be an expert at sewing. It has nothing to do with that. This is pretty simple. Anybody can do this. So you knot several times, so it's a good strong ending. So now I have a double threaded needle. And I go back to my symbol that is with the elastic doubled over, the two sides doubled over and I hold it in my left hand because I'm right-handed. So here I am holding it. I'm gonna go from the inside under the elastic and think of the two flaps that are overlapped like a rectangle because they make a rectangle. And I want to sew the rectangle. So I go in, I hope you can see this. I go inside from under inside the hoop and pull up. So nothing fancy. It doesn't have to be perfect stitches. What you want to do is go around the edges. So I'm going to follow the little rectangle around the edge on one side. And I just keep going until I get to the other end of it where it's doubled. And I want to go through the middle, right? So I have to go in. So I'm going across, I turned it around now, and so now I have the other unsewn edge. I wanna sew that together, and I just go up and down from the inside up, go outside, inside up, follow along the edge. Try not to have any thread stick out or be left dangling. Nothing fancy here, really nothing. It's just practical. You want to sew the two edges together very sturdy. And I would suggest that you go around twice, at least twice. So you go around the edges, you go across the center, you make sure that it's connected. Go around, I'm going around number two. This is my second time. Go up from inside, pull up, go outside, outside the loop. Go back in with the needle, pull up, pretty basic. And I'm not even like crazy about how, how perfect is the stitch. I hope you will see when I'm done. I'm using blue thread on black elastic on purpose 
so that you can see the elastic. And every time I teach symbol class in class, I try to show everybody with, <laughs> with blue thread so you can see it doesn't have to be an amazing sewing job. If I used black thread, which is ideal, you wouldn't see the stitches, but then teaching you would be harder. So you wanna probably use black thread, but you know what, even if you use a blue one, no one is going to see that it's blue. Nobody's going to see that. When it's on your fingers and your fingers are moving, really nothing is going to be seen. All right, so let's say I did a round. I took my time. I was very careful. I want to knot it off. Make a little knot a couple of times. And then all I got to do is cut it. Cut off the rest of the thread and the needle. And now I have a symbol. I hold do. Let's see if you can see this. See the, the needle? Nothing fancy. I did that in such a hurry. This one's a little better. You can see how I went more carefully along each side to make sure that the overlap is sewn together. And then you know what you did well by putting it on. Now, let's say what I suggest is do the fingers first because they're smaller, the elastic is smaller. And let's say you did it and you didn't overlap it enough. So it's a little loose. And if it's loose for the middle finger, well, so what? Then you can use it on your thumb. Then you've got one of the thumbs done. And if it works perfect for the middle finger, then you're done with the middles. So I would suggest starting with the middle fingers until you get a set of four. Now I don't, didn't bring, oh yes, I have mine here. I have mine that I use, bigger ones in class. Same turquoise, same, they're just larger so that I play lo uh, louder. And uh, you're gonna have them for your fingers and thumbs. And you just see, I have to figure out which one is the thumb and which is the finger. Sometimes people take different thread colors so they know quickly this is a finger, this is a thumb. This is only if you're in performance, which you're not needing to worry about right now. So you have a set of four on two thumbs under the fingernails, on two middle fingers under the fingernails. You'll see I used other color thread and there's nothing on the inside of the symbols and they're facing each other. And then in class, what we're gonna do is learn how to strike so we make different sounds and how you play. Now notice my other fingers are staying away and you're gonna strike in and out. It's gonna resonate a lot. So in class, it'll be kind of loud. It'll be loud in your house. You wanna warn people, close the door, whatever, because it will be loud when we're playing and, and dancing, okay? So that's it. Two middle, two middle fingers, two thumbs, ready to go for class. I look forward to trying. This is our first time we're gonna do Zoom symbol class. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you, everybody.